is it obligatory to recite Surah Al-Fatiha in every single raka'ah of every single prayer or what is the issue concerning that? So we said that the majority of the scholars, they went to the opinion that a person who is praying by himself outside of the prayer, uh, outside of the congregational prayer, then it's obligatory upon him to recite it. And also, uh, the one who is leading the prayer, it's obligatory upon him. And then the difference occurred concerning the one who is being led in the congregational prayer. So there were three opinions that we mentioned. And the first one that we mentioned was that some of the scholars, they said that it's ob uh, obligatory upon a person, even the one who is being led in the prayer, it's obligatory upon him to recite Surah Al-Fatiha in uh, all of the raka'at. Uh, and they gave certain evidences. One of the evidences that we mentioned was the hadith, uh, لا لمن لم يقرأ بفاتحة الكتاب, that there is no prayer for the one who does not recite with the Surah Al-Fatiha, hadith of the Prophet وسلم, that there is no prayer for the one who does not recite with Surah Al-Fatiha, there is no prayer for the one who does not recite Surah Al-Fatiha. So they said this is a general hadith, it encompasses and incorporates all of the prayers, every raka'ah of every prayer for every individual, whether you're praying in the jama'ah or outside of the jama'ah, or you're the imam yourself, whoever you are, whatever situation you're in, then they said this hadith is general and it encompasses all of those situations. So you are to recite Surah Al-Fatiha in all of those situations. Uh, another hadith that they used, we mentioned was, uh, where the Prophet ﷺ said to them, concerning the companions reciting behind the Prophet ﷺ. They were reciting whilst the Prophet ﷺ was reciting. So he said to them, لا تفعلوا إلا بفاتحة الكتاب فَإِنَّهُ لَا صَلَاةَ لِمَنْ لَمْ يَقْرَأْ بِهَا So the Prophet ﷺ said to them, don't do that. He said to the companions, don't recite whilst I'm reciting. I, whilst the Prophet ﷺ is leading them in the prayer. He said to them, don't recite except with the Fatiha. Don't recite anything behind me whilst I'm reciting other than the Fatiha. That you have to because the Prophet says, فَإِنَّهُ لَا صَلَاةَ لِمَنْ لَمْ يَقْرَأْ بِهَا Because there is no prayer for the one who does not recite with it. Who doesn't recite with Surah Al-Fatiha? Doesn't recite that Surah. So that's the opinion of some of the scholars. Some of the scholars went to this opinion, and we mentioned that, uh, for example, Imam Al-Bukhari, uh, Imam Al-Shafi'i, some of the great scholars of the past, they took this opinion that it's obligatory to recite Surah Al-Fatiha in all of the raka'at for every situation. The second opinion that we gave was that it is not obligatory upon the one being led in the prayer to recite Surah Al-Fatiha. That it's not obligatory upon him to recite, the one being led in the prayer. And that was because of the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, That whoever has an Imam, i.e. whoever is being led in the prayer by an Imam, then the recitation of the Imam is recitation for him. i.e. the one being led in the prayer, then the recitation of his Imam is sufficient for him also. So they said, there's your evidence. There's your evidence that the one who is being led in the prayer doesn't have to recite Surah Al-Fatiha. The Prophet ﷺ said the recitation of the Imam is sufficient for him. But there is some speech concerning that hadith. However, they mention other evidences anyway. So they mention the ayah in the Qur'an, وَإِذَا قُرِئَ الْقُرْآنُ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ وَأَنصِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ The ayah in the Qur'an, Surah Al-A'raf, ayah number 204, that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if the Qur'an is recited, then listen to it carefully, uh, listen to it carefully, uh, so that you might be, uh, so that uh, you might have mercy upon you, you might be given mercy. So they said, there you go, another evidence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if the Qur'an is being recited, then listen to it. Be quiet and listen to the Qur'an if it's being recited. So they said, when the Imam is leading you in the prayer and he's reciting the Qur'an, the evidence in the Qur'an itself indicates you should be silent listening to the Imam, not reciting yourself. So that was their evidence. So now you have apparently two statements or two opinions which are contradicting each other. The first opinion is bringing its evidences to say that you have to recite. The second group are saying that you don't have to recite with their evidences. And then the Shaykh said perhaps the most just of the approaches or perhaps the most <coughs> just of the uh, statements is the third statement which is the opinion of the likes of Al Imam uh, Ibn Taymiyyah and others, where they said, or they joined between the evidences. So they said that 
uh, it's obligatory upon a person to recite Surah Al-Fatiha in the quiet prayers when you can't hear the recitation of the Imam anyway because it's a quiet prayer. And it's not obligatory upon him to recite in the loud prayers when you can hear the Imam reciting. Surah al uh, in, uh, Fajr, Surah Al-Fajr and uh, Surah Al-Maghrib and Surah Al-Isha. So that was in brief the issue concerning that. And that's what Sheikh said. The Sheikh's opinion is, he says, that perhaps this is the most justified of the approaches, the most just of the statements, to mix the evidences together, bring them all together, and to come to that conclusion. And that's the statement of Ibn Taymiyyah.